What's up, guys? Okay, cool. I'm we'll gonna go ahead and record it. I appreciate every single one of you, every single individual that has hopped on this call today, who, who continues to hop on these calls each and every single week. Guys, this is, this is the Tuesday network marketing call where every single Tuesday we throw down massive nuggets for 10 minutes, just 10 minutes each with an extra special guest. And guys, today's guest I am extremely excited about. Um, guys, the whole purpose, just to reiterate, because I know there's some new people on this call, the whole purpose of these calls are to not only just add value, but to give you perspective, build your belief, and build this culture, okay? And tonight, like I said, I'm really, really excited to introduce this individual. He's going to go over really his pipeline exposure training that he's given to me and really the squad out here in Arizona. I've been so fortunate um, to really be able to meet this individual and work with him on a one-on-one -on -one level. Um, I had the pleasure. He, he really got the time. I really had the pleasure of being able to come out, meet with him for over an hour a couple weeks ago and just really sit down and pick his brain. And uh, really did I do that. But I'm excited uh, to, to, to really introduce Christian on this call. He's going to go ahead, like I said, and break down the invite training. And not only that, guys, just to really paint the picture, he's out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. He's not even on our team directly, and he's coming on here to give us some value. So, guys, have paper and pen ready to go. He's going to be dropping some mad nuggets, one of the top leaders out here. And, guys, he's not only somebody that I respect, but he's somebody that I honor. And like Dr. Spiller talked on the Sunday call over this past weekend, when you honor somebody's voice – like, that's just a whole different level. So I really, really am passionate and grateful for our relationship. Christian, are you on this call and ready to go? Of course I am, Abby. Of course I am. Thank you so much for, for having me on tonight's call. And uh, just super grateful. We've been able to build a friendship. And um, I've been able to learn actually so much from you. And um, what's, what's awesome about you guys is just so you guys know, you're in the right hands. If you work with Abby, um, this girl is so unbelievably hungry for success for knowledge, for information, um, for progression, for growth. And the reason why she is, is it selfishly? Um, it's for you guys. She's looking for education. She's looking for systems. She's looking for any edge, any 1% growth. And it's not for her to advance her rank advancement, but it's for her team. It's for her organization. And when I talked with Abby, she came and we, we, we actually talked a lot. We sat down at Starbucks though recently and um, she just like drilled me for like two hours. It was an amazing conversation, but she never said, I want to hit this. I want to grow my team. I want to do this. And a lot of times when people ask me to sit down because of previous success I've had in this industry, it's about me, 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 me. And it always rubs me the wrong way. And at the end of the, the meeting, I'm normally the person to say, hey, listen, you're not in my business. You can do whatever you want. But you asked me to sit down with me and I will tell you, it's not about you. And that until I broke that, until I broke that cheat code in network marketing, before I give you guys this, this quick training that I think will really help you, I want you your first notes to be, if you haven't started taking them already to be, it's not about me. And as a ex division one athlete playing two sports, I was always taught from, it was ingrained from when I was little that the better you are, the better the team is because the team benefits from your success on the field. And unfortunately that paradigm in sports does not correlate into network marketing. Um, in the traditional business, it does. And I do traditional business, actually it's my full-time profession. I'm the VP of marketing for a beverage company. And network marketing is something I now do on the side. And being very good at my job allows the business to thrive and to grow. But in network marketing, it's not just about being the best. And I want you guys to understand that moving and going forward, you do need to read, you do need to personally grow, Yes, you need to, do need to learn how to speak well if you're looking to make lots of money in this industry, but it's not about you in the process. It's about growth. And until you grow yourself, you can't help anybody else. But just so you know, I'm so grateful to be on tonight's call. And the reason why I'm doing this to be fully transparent is because I know how much she wants all of you to succeed. And if I can give just one nugget to one person on tonight's call, then that's why I, want, I really want to be remembered for it. So, with that being said, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name's Christian Jukes. I'm 24 years old from Asheville, North Carolina. And my goal for tonight's call is probably only to help one of you. Um, if I can help all 23 of you, I would love to. But there's a specific person that I'm going to be speaking to. And that person is sick and tired of being sick and tired and is beyond coachable and is going to take this information and just apply it. Just take it for what it's worth. And the reason why I, don't, I want you to take this information isn't from some 24-year-old kid who's done 10 million plus sales in network marketing. 
I learned it from the number four earner in the history of the world of network marketing who's made over $67 million. So this guy, his name's Tom, and he was my mentor in my first company, and he taught me this system, and this is how I've operated my businesses forever um, in traditional and now, obviously, through iMarkets Live, which I'm so grateful to be partnered with. And so what I want to teach you guys is the exposure pipeline. At the end of the day, if you need your business to grow, and I'm only going to be speaking towards the affiliate marketing, the, the IBO side, the building business side right now. I'm not a professional trader. You guys all work with Christopher Derrick. You guys all have access right to IML Academy, IML TV, the harmonic scanner, the web analyzer. Stephen Hooley's a, a personal friend of mine. Gustavo's a friend of mine, right? Like go to those guys. I'm not a professional trader. I take swipe trades. I mark up some charts with my team. I had a guy who's made over $48,000 in the last 60 days of trading my business. And he's 90 days new to trading. He's teaching me how to trade. Um, okay, so he dove in the academy. He's still teaching me. So when I'm speaking, just so you know, that's the angle and the lens I'm speaking from. So from the exposure pipeline, you need, at the end of the day, more conversations if you need your business to grow. And so what I want you to do is I want you to draw a picture on your notes. Okay, draw a picture, turn it, I think this is hot dog style, right? In class, you guys ever do that? Hot dog style, okay? So hot dog style, so turn your paper, fresh sheet, don't have any notes on this sheet, because you're gonna want this, okay? So turn it hot dog style, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna write a C, starting all the way in the far left-hand space, and then you're gonna put an arrow. That C stands for conversation, okay? A lot of people start with the invitation, it all starts with a conversation. The conversation is simple. You have to be a human being and you have to talk. You have to utilize your mouth and have a conversation, whether that's in your Uber, whether it's in Starbucks, whether it's in Subway, whether it's your high school best friend, whether it's your college roommate, whether it's to your coworker, whether it's to you know whoever it is, you need to have a conversation. Throughout that conversation, there are some questions that I would teach yourself to start programming yourself to ask. Eventually, right, hey, how's your day, all that stuff, that's great. That's surface level conversation. You need to break the barrier and get below the surface level. And how you do that is by asking questions like this. If time or money was no issue and you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do? Asking questions like, hey, Alex, if you could have beer do anything in the world, what would it be? What would you have? Where would you go? Ask people their 2018 goals. Ask people this, this is a phenomenal question because I track my six areas of my life I grow. Say, hey, if you could grow your mental, physical, spiritual, relationships, social, or business area of your life, which one would you grow? And give them the option. And then you listen. And see, most people ask questions with the intent to respond. You need to ask questions with the intent to listen. The goal isn't to trap people in a corner and, oh, you said the perfect thing, so now you're coming to the home of it. The goal is to fulfill a need. The goal of this entire pipeline is to fulfill a need. But you can't fulfill something that doesn't exist. So this point of this conversation is to find the need. The need would be simple. When someone says, my 2018 goals are to make an extra $20,000 a year. My 2018 goals are to surround myself around a positive, like-minded group of people. My 2018 goals are to, to meet the, the husband of, you know, the century. My, my whatever it is, like the goal is to find the need though, okay? And if they say, you know what, in 2018, all I want to do, like all I want to do is lose like 50 pounds. That's it. You know what, it, bringing them to iMarkets Live and the Law of Association might inspire them to go get excited, to go get on a treadmill, if they listen to Alex Morton speak enough, maybe they'll get lit. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it doesn't have much to do with cryptocurrency and forex and trading. So if that's their goal, then maybe you shouldn't force the invite on them. See, the reason why when I invite somebody, I enroll like close to eight or nine out of 10 people I invite to do iMarkets Live is because they're asking me to fulfill a need that I have the ability to fulfill. It's not me forcing people to come show up to look at my opportunity. That's the reason why I've also enrolled over 248 people in network marketing. It's because I have meaningful conversations. And so once you have those conversations, I'm spending the most time on this point because it all starts with the conversations. Once you have meaningful conversations and you learn to ask the right questions, 
then you find the need. Okay. The need would be, you know, I'm looking to make more money. The need would be, I'm looking for personal growth. The need would be, I'm looking for a culture. The need would be, I'm looking for an extra source of income. The need would be, I'm looking for a new skill, whatever, right? The need would be, I just graduated college and I'm tired of turning up because, oh shit, it's the real world and the internship's over and it's unpaid. I'm broke, right? Like there's a need there for iMarkets Live. So once you find that, ooh, swipe coin alert, swipe coin alert, Litecoin, check it out. I love this stuff. Oh, dude, I love this Litecoin. It's good good stuff so once you have the meaningful conversation that leads to an invitation if they open up and allow you you find a need for the purpose of an invitation like I need to make more money looking for a great group of friends like whatever something that makes sense for this then you say if I would you if I would you so the C here's the C it's not been written in Sharpie so I don't know if you can see it very well but an arrow leads to an I C to an I conversation to an invitation, okay? The invitation is simple, if I would you. That's the invitation. If I sent you a video, would you check it out? Hey, if I showed you a way that you could achieve your goal with time, money, like whatever it is that they said they wanted, and say that. Like if they said, I'm looking to make an extra $20,000 this year. Hey, if I showed you a way you could do that, and I introduce you to somebody who's helping thousands of people do that, would you watch a recording for 20 minutes of him explaining exactly how he's been able to do that. Hey, if I could introduce you to a person who's been able to do that, exactly what you just said and is willing to teach you, would you show up at Tempe McCormick on Tuesday night at 7.30? I don't know, right? So that's what you can do. If I, would you? Conversation leads to an invitation. The invitation then leads to what? A presentation. So put P, just an arrow, and then draw a P. The presentation. The presentation can be a recorded Zoom call. The presentation can be a three-way phone call. The presentation can be a opportunity home event. All of these different kinds of things. The presentation can't be you explaining to your friend, I markets live. That's not a presentation at all. Number one, it's not duplicatable. Number two, that's not a presentation. Use third-party credibility. There's so many reasons why. I'm not even gonna go into them because I don't have time. But you use third party credibility, whether it's a recorded Zoom call, something like that. You can be speaking at the home event. That's great. It's an event though. It's a tool. You only use, the, the entire thing is duplicatable. Can, can you speak? You have a conversation that's meaningful. If you can't, you're in the wrong business. Honestly, you shouldn't be in business. So hopefully you can have a conversation. Can you say, if I would you? Yes. Can you send a YouTube video or invite to a home event? Totally, 100%. So all of this, any living, breathing, organism can do these things and that's why it works so c leads to i i leads to p now the p leads to an f and i like to have fun sometimes when i draw these things um i don't have the ability to screen share right now but i like to have fun so the f that's right here i don't really put f u because it's like follow up um because it's just fun and makes people laugh but anyway so we got we got the f right here so what i need you to do you can see this draw this circle to so draw this circle so arrow here, arrow here. So the presentation leads to a follow-up. Perfect. The presentation leads to a follow-up. Okay, the presentation, I'll say that again, leads to the follow-up. So the follow-up is very simple. You never, ever, ever in the follow-up go, what'd you think? Hey, Abby, what'd you, what'd you think? For starters, the neuro-linguistic programming that I'm not gonna get into that I've studied relentlessly for the last five years on how the human brain works automatically triggers a negative neural pathway that are gonna find the one thing they didn't like, whether it was Chris Derrick's Asian or whether it's Christian's genes have too many holes in them, it doesn't matter. They're gonna find the one thing they didn't like and that's the thing that they're gonna to respond to you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask them, what did you like best? I don't honestly care about what you didn't like. I only care about what you liked because you told me you needed this. I showed it to you and now I need to know what you like. And you focus on that. You see a lot of people, they focus on, I want to be a six-figure earner. Well, that's great. This person just wants to make an extra $20 a week on the process of driving Ubers because $20 a week changes their life. So it's not about you. That's how I started this call, remember? It's not about you. So the follow-up's about them. Find out what they like best and then hone in on that. So the follow-up, what did you like best, is what you ask. And once you find it, then you lead to another presentation. Follow-up leads to a presentation. Follow-up leads to a presentation. Follow-up leads to a presentation. 
eventually, after two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, 26, 100 presentations, eventually, you're going to go ahead and collect a decision. So write D. So eventually, that's gonna to lead to a decision. So put an arrow from the follow-up to D. Decision. Now understand this, everyone thinks, oh, enrollment, oh, sign them up, oh, platinum package. That's not the goal. This is a sorting business. Maybe you've heard that before, maybe you haven't. This is a sorting process. Your job isn't to force people to do something they don't wanna do and swipe their credit card for $217 and then add the web analyzer. That's not, that's not what this is. This is a sorting process of people because you are looking for a certain specific person to partner with. It doesn't take many aces to build a seven, eight, nine figure business. It takes a lot of customers, but it doesn't take that many IBOs. So I would rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies. And a lot of people say that, but I build my business that way. I, I look for the quarters. Like when I'm going through and I'm having these conversations, I'm looking for the quarters. And if you are starting at pennies, then work your way to nickels and work your way to dimes and eventually you'll find a quarter, okay? You gotta work your way up, but if you, if you, if you have these meaningful conversations, you'll, you'll attract the right energy and you'll bring the right people in. So the decision, what that means is simple. This is the only two ways the decision happens. Yes, Christian, I'm ready to get started on Markets Live. Send me your website. Can you walk me through the, the basics, the first 24 hours, 40 hours, 72 hours? Perfect. The other one, you know what? Christian, I appreciate you for hopping on 17 you know, Zoom webinars and five home events. But to be honest with you, this just isn't the right fit for me right now. Timing isn't good. I'm not interested in crypto and Forex. Cool, no worries. That's how it happens. They either tell you no, or you keep doing presentations until they tell you no, or until they get started. It's, it's literally that simple. Now my trick with this is I have as many condensed presentations as possible. And when I say presentations, a presentation could be, hey, hop on a London session with Chris Derrick and you should send me a YouTube video, right? Or whatever it is. A presentation can be a five minute FaceTime with your upline mentor as you're hanging out after an event. It doesn't have to be A to Z. Eventually, yeah, they need to get to an A to Z, but as many opportunities to say yes as possible during that presentation. Collect the decision. If they say no, track it. Why did you say no? Oh, I don't have the time. See, if you track your no's, this is something people will miss, but this is important. If you, you track your no's, I guarantee you that they're gonna say the same reason. So if you track the no's that you're doing, they're gonna say the same things. So they're gonna say, oh, I don't have time. 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 Well, shit, after the sixth one, guess what you should probably do? During your presentation, during your conversation, during your invitation, you can talk about, you know what? If you're busy, this is perfect for you because we have some amazing products like Swipe Coin Free for the next four weeks, like Swipe Trades. We have some amazing products like the Harmonic Scanner. We have some awesome tools and resources that take absolutely no time, maybe 60 to 90 seconds in order for you to see success. Here's the results, past profits don't guarantee future results, so on and so forth, but you can show them that. So you can overcome the objections in the presentation, in the invitation, and in the conversation, because chances are you're gonna have the same people say no for the same reasons, because they because it's being presented a certain way. So track those no's, collect those decisions, then those decisions lead to, I put a money sign. You found a quarter, you have someone in, and this is where the work starts. So you guys can see it hopefully right here. Conversation leads to an imitation. Imitation leads to a presentation. Presentation leads to a follow-up. That goes on. The industry average is four to six times. Four to six times this happens, okay? So if your boy, you know, down here, let's say Malik got started on the first presentation, then that means the next person could take 12 presentations and follow-ups before they decide to get started. And you need to understand that. 100%, I had a kid, Trey, who got started in my business. He got introduced to my first network marketing organization my third week I was in the business over four and a half years ago. Four and a half years ago, said no. Three years ago, said no. Gave him 12 exposures in four years. 
And eventually, when I launched iMarkets Live, he showed up at a home event three tiers down from me in the middle of nowhere, Mount Olive, North Carolina. I didn't even know he was playing baseball there for a super senior year and got started on the spot on my power leg in iMarkets Live in my business. So it just goes to show you that some people, it's just the right time. But eventually, if you do the right things long enough consistently, you will see success 150%. The last thing that I want to leave you guys, because that's a pipeline, is I want to leave you guys with a book that's super, super, super unrelated. Under, under, can you get that for me, Brittany? The first year you're recording. I want to give you guys a. I want to give you guys a book that is super, super, super like low key. Like people don't read it. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. It's on the far left. So it's super. It, it's just nobody reads it, and it doesn't make any sense. And if you guys are new to this industry and or just haven't read this book. It's going to be a game changer. It's the first year in network marketing, your first year in network marketing. It's purple. And it's by uh, Mark Yarn. Well, so you can check it out. It's on Amazon. It's like 10 bucks. Your first year in network marketing. So I'm actually about to start. I'm going to start reading this to my organization starting like next week. We're doing like a, a book club thing. Um, personal development is absolutely massive in this industry. Um, and it's not just, it's a cultural thing. Okay, it's not just like to grow and to make more money, but it's a culture thing because when you meet up in Vegas, when you meet up in Miami, when you meet up at home events, you're talking the same terminology. When I'm talking about neuro linguistic programming, people understand. When I'm talking about collecting decisions, when I'm talking about reverse engineering your goals, when I'm talking about tap routing, I'm not teaching people these terms. They're reading these things every single day, and then we can just work. You don't have to teach people how to be successful. You just have to teach them how to direct their energy and provide the system necessary for them to win. So that's what I got for you guys. I'm super, super grateful. Abby, you could have me on. I pray that that one person was on here. Um, and hopefully I know 23 got to hear it. And if you guys go apply this, it's going to be amazing. So we've got an amazing system in place. I'm super grateful for you guys. If you want to connect with me, I recently redid my YouTube channel. So you can feel free to look that up. Um, I'm huge on Instagram and Facebook. I love those social media handles. And um, if you're out here in Arizona, you totally have access to me. So whatever you guys need from me, I'm here to support you 100% of the way. Um, I know Abby's going to make it to the top. And I know that you guys have the ability to ride that wave with her. So if I was you, I would grab on, hold on to her, and uh, tell her you're ready to take it. So conversation, imitation, presentation, follow-up, collect the decision, and you guys can go out and hit chairman. Appreciate you guys. Abby, I'll throw it back to you. Damn, dude, I'm speechless. I, I like, Sindel's over here. Alex is in the other room. The chat's blowing up. Like, I'm excited, bro. Thank you so much for doing that. I know I've heard it from you a couple times now, but I think this one was probably your best yet. You really went into detail, and I so appreciate that. You have no idea. I know that the, the team really got a lot of value and just that perspective, um, which I think was really, really necessary. So thank you so much, dude. Um, we're going to see you in about an hour. Are you coming to, to, to the event? For sure. Never right. miss events. Heck yeah. Never Listen. come alone. Never miss an event. Listen to Christian, guys. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, appreciate you, Christian. Um, guys, next call is tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do the traders call tomorrow and everything. And we have a special guest hopping on there as well. Guys, don't neglect these calls. As you saw tonight, extra special value coming to you guys every single time we do these calls. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Um, have a great rest of your Tuesday night. This call is recorded. I'll be posting it. And um, yeah, bye.